Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Germany on regular mode with historical AI, so let's get into it. I've just been playing in between videos. Uh, we're still in the pre-war era here. Uh, one of my viewers, Hunter, has given me the challenge of starting in 1939 as Germany, and I'm able to take, uh, to declare war, to justify war on one country before I'm able to attack classically, in other words, Poland and France, and I've waived that, uh, but I will do Anchelos, we've already done Anchelos, and now we have the fate of Czechoslovakia, um, so we can either partition Czechoslovakia with Hungary, Modify MIFO bills by daily political power costs of negative 0.15. We can take all of Czechoslovakia, which will cost me 50 PP, but we get base war support 10%. War support's only 74. Oh, we gain war support too. Kingdom of Hungary gets the event Partition Czechoslovakia. So that might make Hungary a little better. I uh, better to, uh, they might have them warm up to us more <laughs> or set up Slovakia as a puppet state I think I just like taking the whole thing it's just a lot cleaner and then I don't have to worry about dealing with the puppet and the puppet not doing what I want it to do okay so we went fate of we went demand sedan land first Vienna award fate of Czechoslovakia now we're gonna go Grobronwerschaft I cannot pronounce that whatsoever so that's right here and we're gonna try to align Hungary and Romania the other thing I want to check out is did I just get another division from Czechoslovakia it doesn't look like it. But if I had puppeted them, I probably could have gotten their light tank division, which would have been nice. Let's go ahead and make our panzer division. Let's see if I can do it. So Hunter wanted a 20 width. There it is right there. Combat with 20. So let's go ahead and make that our mainline template. And I'm going to train one more. So now we're really going to be out of supplies. Let's get some of that Swedish iron. Oh wow, we got a lot of military factories. So that's why I have this overflow zone here so that I can reassess what I need. So we still have 900 extra tanks. I find that hard to believe, but okay. I just want a trickle of tack bombers because they give me that range and thus the air superiority because they can cover a large territory. We're probably going to need more support equipment and artillery to cover what we're going to need for Barbarossa. Probably something like that, but we need to prioritize things a little differently. Let's just ditch this and start all over again. That's where you get the wear 98 there. Show outdated equipment. So then if there's another overflow um, or if there's factories that were destroyed, they are basically screwing up the production efficiency retention of this 
old and outdated equipment that doesn't cost me a lot to produce. So I still get some value out of the production efficiency loss. Okay, so on this side of the country, I don't use Von Bach because the division recovery rate is negative 10%. I think that that has a lot of negative repercussions. Let's go to Schultz. So they might push tanks over into this side of the country, so I'll give a couple of those to Blaskovitz. But as I said before, we won't be seeing tanks in Poland. Knock on wood. I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that the tanks, they had tanks. I think that they had armored personnel carriers that they were using as tanks. There might have been a few tanks, but I don't know if they ever made it to the front line. I think was the story on that one. I'm using Kurt Student because he's going to be going into Belgium and there were a lot of pair, pair drops in Belgium famously so I typically don't use him but he does have a good attack rating and I don't typically use him anymore because of the reckless <laughs> attacker and when you're wounded like the debuffs are steep and you're not allowed to use the general's activated abilities so I try to stay away from that. Okay, for this last slot here, we're going to save it up for Himmler. Um, as soon as we conquer all the territory. I In between videos, I got extensive conscription. Uh, plus 10% training time, which isn't going to play a factor here. Uh, what we need to have, I think, is... It's a toss-up between 10% attack which we're going to be doing a lot, or division speed. Uh, I think let's go attack. So raw power. Raw strength, I think, is the way to go. And if you just saw my air combat video, um, we're going to keep the all the air vehicles over here towards Poland first, where my spearheads are, right here with Guderian. And then we're going to move Guderian back over, and we won't attack until Guderian's ready to go. Okay, I did go Excavation 1. I was going back and forth about that on the last video, but as you can see, I got a ton of iron from that. So that is good. Let's get rid of Japan since that's a sea route. And we did get some resources from Czechoslovakia. Okay. Align Romania. Let's go first. And typically in my builds, Romania aligns, but Hungary doesn't always align. So we might want to improve relations. And I'll start improving relations with Romania as well.
and successive uh, levels of excavation I found don't do much. Let's see what we need to get here. A second level of engineer company would be really nice. Or you know what I want to do? I want to do dive bombing. Air support mission efficiency plus 20%. That's quite good. I think even Spain is a sea route, so I need to be careful about this. And that seems to be an abnormally high amount of iron for Sweden. I don't know if they changed that in one of the patches. Okay, we've got enough anti-air. Probably don't have enough artillery. Gonna need to up that. Infantry equipment looks good. We need to catch up on planes big time. Keep the MIFO bills alive. God, our political power is dwindling. So we're going to need to attack as soon as we can in 1939, and then I believe that debuff to my political power will go away. I want to see how much rubber we're trading for, because this is going to be the first thing to go away. So 15... And we're going to need more because we're going to put some more military factories in there too. So each one of these plants only gives me one. Okay, so I need 15 synth factories. Oh boy. Yeah, we need those synth factories. The airplane industry just needs that rubber. So another thing that I could be doing is upgrading my rubber technology. This is going to come up quite quick, so I think that's the next thing I need to get. So it is rubber processing. And I've got the armor spearhead coming up here, so that's going to make my tanks work really well. That looks fine. Decisions available. Dismantle the check forts. And I can build more forts. We're not defending anything. <laughs> You're watching my videos. We're not defending a lot. I do want to do a... Um, let's get this guy to the right area. I do want to complete a build uh, where... Okay, so we got a line Romania, so we're going to go a line Hungary. I do want to do a check playthrough, and that is mostly defense. And I have been able to do, to get by in that, believe it or not. Um, I think I did have a Germany conquest. That was a few patches ago, though, so I'm going to have to knock off the dust here and start playing Czechoslovakia again. Okay, so after we go Align Hungary, it's Reassert Eastern Claims and then Danziger War. Okay, our political power went up a little bit there. Oh, I think because we lost the improved relations Okay, so it's improving. Let's let's do it again. Romania is at 100, so there's no point in re improving relations there. Okay, we got the anti-air upgrade. 
it might be worth it to go to this level of flak because the piercing is 60. It does cost two iron. Yeah, we go from a piercing 25 to a piercing 60. It's basically like getting an anti-tank gun. And my fourth armor division is almost trained. And once that happens, we're going to be ready to roll. Check out the stockpile here. We need a lot more artillery in the kitty. The infantry equipment's looking good. That's going to go fast in Barbarossa. Oh man, we need a lot of tanks. Okay, that is a little unreachable down there. This could be good. We could get that in the middle of Barbarossa. MG42 in 1939. Take that any day. Oh, that's a, a little out of range for us. Uh, we could always do the old encry encryption, though. Not allow the enemy to know our movements as well. That would be good. Especially as the AI is getting smarter. All right, we aligned Hungary, so now we go over to reassert Eastern Claims. Let's see how many slots. We get Mamel over here, we get three slots. Hoping it is Military Factory is my favorite. Okay, Hungary, it looks like they should be aligned here. So I guess you have to wait to get... This is a very interesting focus tree badge. But basically, Integrate War Economies gives you eight military factories if you have Hungary and Romania as puppets. Hungary is in a... F if they're in our faction, then they become puppets. And we get four uh, military factories for each country. And that country, Hungary and Romania, gets four military factories. So that's for the Axis powers, that's a lot of factories. Yeah, let's upgrade the engineer company. Very powerful. Get that plus two entrenchment going for our crack troops over here. Poland looks just so weak. Oh, I forgot. Darn it. I gotta stretch my line out. That would have been embarrassing. I always forget to do that. Let's have them do something like that. And with their 24 divisions, they should be able to spread out and not be so bad off. Erwin Rommel. want to make sure we get him. Uh, the other thing I wanted to explain to you guys is why I'm using Boehm. I'm using Boehm instead of... Eric Reeder, because Eric Reeder is more a decisive naval guy, and um, he's got battleship adherent, naval AA attack, negative 20%, capital ship attack, plus 10%, that's good. Uh, but the number of ships in first contact, plus 25%, in retreat, decision chance, negative 25%. I do not want uh, decisive naval battles. Don't want it whatsoever. I want to maintain my naval forces. Keep them around for a long time. 
we're in live to fight another day mode basically and Boehm has a n plus 25 chance to retreating so I like that okay let's grab this one and we're gonna be oiling up the war machine we're ready to go here in a few so we just have one more focus tree badge after this one and then we should lose the debuff the Mifo build uh, debuff and buff. Poland, baby. Danzig or war. And then we go around Magino. Okay, M Mamel folds. Direct ground support. Time to research. Okay. Ground support, air support, mission efficiency, ground support plus 20%. Okay. So the first probably meant how often you can get your fighters in the air. And the second is to attack um, your CAS or anything that can do ground support, which is right here, the close air support. So I'm assuming that that will give us plus 20 to attack. back some of these guys off these guys have enough range so they can be in a further away province no problem Okay, MIFO bills are going to turn off. In the new update with Law Resistance, apparently the MIFO bills will not turn off. It gives you a hard stop, so it always gives you the option to extend them. So that's really good because I know all the Germany players have accidentally allowed the MIFO bills to fall off. Don't lie to me. It's happened to me like a dozen times, so. Yeah, this game can get quite hectic with all the things going on. Okay, Sweden can give me another one. I gotta remember to adjust this as soon as war breaks because the UK will just sink all my all my uh, transports. All right, we're getting pretty close here. Danziger war. Oh my goodness. I like how everyone has a green checkbox, but the two generals on the Maginot. Holy mackerel, do you see this? We're going to really have to surprise them. And they've got 10 tanks there. Can I squeeze out some more divisions? This should actually be fine. I just want to make sure that I have enough ET in every army. That looks good. I'm happy with that. These guys on the Maginot are going to be fighting in the hills, the mountains. They all have uh, mountain divisions. And Poland's going to be over in a minute. Yeah, I think that I'm pretty satisfied. All these battle plans should be maxed out too. We're not overcrowded on our airports. Okay, here's the question though. Okay. What I need to do... There should be subs in here, right? Have I still not built any new subs? Oh boy. No sir. Okay. Do I put the subs in the Atlantic or 
Use them for getting across in Sea Lion. They're all subtype ones. Gosh, they can't even get out there, really. I guess we'll just have to run them in here. Yeah, I'll just keep them in the Baltic. Not really much of a subfleet going on there. The only thing that we don't have in our cabinet here, I would say, is Von Rundstedt. Division recovery rate. Uh, we're going to need that 8% when we hit Barbarossa. So here we go. Poland refuses German ultimatum. Uh, they know what the alternative is. We want to make sure to go around Maginot next. It's only going to take 28 days. So hopefully it only takes us less than 28 days to get Poland. The one piece of the puzzle that we're missing here is occupation troops. Should I upgrade recon companies? We could get field hospitals. I don't know if we'll need them. This comes into play when you hit Russia. Eh, it'd be nice to get more rubber. Let's just do that. It's always nice to have more rubber. And so we're about to attack. So let's prepare for that attack. Okay, that's a land route. That's going to be part of the Allies soon. Oh boy. We need a lot more synthetic refineries and we need to make sure that we're not going to put more into air production. Maybe I should have gotten an extra point into a uh, refining, rubber refining. So that should be good there to catch us back up. In the meantime, I guess I'll stick with Siam. And the, the convoys are going to get picked off, let me tell you. But that'll go down over time. Anyone else has a sea route? Sweden kind of does. Japan does for sure. Let's take that off of there. Spain does. I, no, Italy doesn't. We share a border. This is the weird area where you have to start training with the U Soviet Union for like a short period of time. So let's change the Schnell division, because we have one Schnell division. We're going to duplicate that and um, turn it into an occupation force. So brand new template here, duplicated off the Schnell division. We'll make that they are. We'll make sure that they are reserves, and we are going to need to train these guys. Quite a few of them. Uh, I would say probably 70 to start off. Because occupation armies can be 70. Make that... Reinforcement should be the most uh, priority here now that we're going to go to war. And we still have plenty of guns and we still have plenty of manpower. Okay, so that's going to work out. And we can get those troops out um, as soon as they're able to, and they can be like fresh recruits. Uh, it's going to be quite different in La Resistance because there's going to be armored cars, which give you a bonus to resistance suppression. And I believe that resistance, uh, the units that are in suppression mode are actually going to take damage. Um, as they fight the resistance forces. So that's that means that there's going to be a lot more attrition, I would assume, and you're going to lose a lot more uh, guns to basic resistance. 
So puppeting off uh, conquered areas would probably be a plus in the new meta in La Resistance. La Resistance. Um, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to end the video. And um, we have the war goal here. Of course, Britain's going to come in on the side of Poland, as it did classically. What I'm going to do is make sure that I get around Maginot and then start on war with France if France doesn't declare against me. Sometimes you just have to give them a little push so that they get into the war. Um, and then we're going to go and take out France, the UK, and then tell me down below, uh, should I go USA first or should I go the Soviet Union? East or West? All right, thanks, guys. Please leave me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.